so hopefully you can see my screen guys uh, so let me just start so first of all the most basic question why don't most of us know about you know kind of fixed income just like we know uh, so well about the equities and what is what sets fixed income asset class apart from you know kind of what equities are so i have three reasons as to what i can think is why fixed income is not as uh, you know kind of people know about it and so many questions are there so many confusions are there obviously number one is it's not as glamorous as fixed income so because you know kind of returns are boring 6 7% 8% and these you know kind of recent past it was like almost about 4 to 5% who needs that kind of returns when equities are giving you 30 40 50 60% returns and if you are uh, you know kind of lucky enough to find that one stock two stocks which might become multi baggers obviously this becomes a very very boring asset class second i think is the penetration in india uh, we know it how easy it is to open a dmat account and start trading equities uh, tips uh, are there from friends relatives and everybody but nobody talks about fixed income asset class um, as much as they, they you know kind of talk about equities even on tv uh, you know every day it is like about the the even the ticker the tape at the bottom of the cnbc's and tv it, uh, or the news and all will show you the equity prices but nobody discusses the bond prices uh the third thing what i think is that obviously it's very it's a little more complex to understand than equities because of the things like you know kind of inversely proportional and what all i was talking about uh so that and and so many aspects to look into it and what to look into it and all. so obviously financial literacy is less glamour is no, uh, not there so people don't want to study and obviously liquidity from the retail point of view is also too too less you know but but i don't know i am sure a lot of you would be knowing that the size the amount wise institute the the debt class out outplays equities by a huge extent globally i mean even in india if you see the total mutual fund uh, aum currently is somewhere around 40 lakh crores of which majority is into debt focused mutual funds and lesser is into equities uh, but we don't realize because most of that money which is going is institutional money because institutionals can't take that kind of a risk and and i'll come to the risk and uh, returns kind of an equation later on as to why you know kind of this is less glamorous and all so obviously let like i said lower returns lower risk now if you want to take a lower risk obviously you will have to settle for a lower return product you can't get so this is a compromise in life you can't get uh you know kind of less risky product giving you higher returns not possible take higher returns get you know kind of uh, sorry take higher risk and get higher returns so that's the that's the truth of life and it's obvious also no otherwise every, everybody would be chasing you know kind of those assets where the risk is low and the returns are high who doesn't want that but aap jitna risk le sakte ho how much risk you can take you can get into those kind of a product so if you just plot the curves you know kind of a risk by return obviously the uh, less return and less risk and i have that chart later on uh, is is mostly contribute mostly you know kind of uh, uh, segmented into debt and as soon as you move keep moving towards the top right corner of that curve of that graph uh, higher risk you will get higher returns so one obviously is this uh, this point and uh, let me also cover a little more basic for few of you guys who might not be aware about the difference between equities and fixed income see guys uh, there are two ways a company raises uh, funds or a company can raise funds either they can raise through equity or they can raise through fixed income simplifying further is that when a, you, you have opened a company and when you need funds to you know kind of your regular business or uh, paying salaries and lot of these operational uh, kind of activities right you need money and when you need money you first instance is that you go maybe to your friends family and all wo chhodte hain that aspect we can remove let's say you are going to a bank when you go to a bank you promise them that i'll pay a fixed kind of an interest so you take 100 crores from the bank and you say that okay i will pay 5% on this like a interest rate every year that become on 5% pe to koi nahi rehta hai so let's let's take 10% so on 100 crores you will every year you know you have to pay 10 cr now when you are paying 10 cr that's kind of a fixed amount which you are paying right irrespective of how your business is doing so ultimately if your business is making money then you can from your revenues from your you know kind of uh, ex after you deduct the expenses and all from the profits you can pay the pay the 10 crore interest but if you are not making money still you need to pay that 10 cr otherwise the bank will seize your assets secure secured uh, as uh, loans unsecured loans i am not going into all these details but ultimately 10 crore to dena hai however in equities what happens is that you 
partake, you give some kind of a stake to the person who is giving you some funds, obviously, right? So IPO, even from the private company angle, venture capital funds, private equity, and even the friends and families, if they're not too close friends or families, they will ask, but give me some, some stake in return, right? ESOPs and all. So the time when, you know, kind of company is the founders are ready to uh, offload some of their stake in the company, ownership in the company, they will go for the equities. Now equities keep trading and fixed income, they need to keep paying the keep, keep paying the interest. So you need to understand when a company has, you know, kind of issued a bond, which is, you know, kind of uh, a ship. In equities, a share is equivalent to a bond in fixed income. So if they have issued a bond, that means they are promising to pay certain interest rate per maybe per year, annually, semi-annually, quarterly, that the, the tenure can be decided up front. And then you are actually, you know, kind of investing into that fund. Let's say uh, company XYZ has wants to raise 100 crores. You will say Ki 100 crores so obviously nahi hai mere paas. I have, let's say, 1 lakh rupees and I will want to participate in that. Now you will get an equivalent kind of interest. You keep get interest for, let's say, 5 year, 10 year, whatever the tenure of that bond is. And once the interest is, you know, kind of tenure is over, you get the principal back. It is the same thing when you take a loan, pe wo ulta ho jata hai, where you are getting the money when you are taking and you have to keep paying the interest. So pe pura, matlab, I mean, the scenario is obviously the same, but the uh, players which I explained are completely uh, uh, changed the role over here. As I said, institutional volumes much higher than equities. Uh, why are, what are the different ways you can enter the world of fixed income security? So I have certain uh, you know, kind of ways in which you can enter the fixed income space. And uh, I'm not going into details of all these things, but then obviously the most basic is your savings account. I have not written savings account over here, but savings account is also kind of a fixed income asset class because it is giving you 4%, 3.5%. Some banks are paying you 6, 6.5%. I don't know if they're still paying 6.5%, but that's a fixed income, right? Uh, whatever your deposits are through some calculations of average monthly balance and all, you get that interest towards the end of the quarter. Same thing is with the fixed deposits, which are FDs. Everybody, you, you're, I'm sure you're, most of, the, of you guys' parents would be you know, kind of investing money into FDs and all. FDs for me is not a very, you know, kind of a great asset class to invest in when it comes to fixed income. But there are some times where FDs can also be considered, which we'll cover a little, a little later. So fixed deposits, obviously, is that you, you know, kind of... Uh, uh, banks issue fixed deposits and uh, uh, different banks like SBI, HDFC Bank keep issuing different FDs and different tenure will have different FD rates. So for example, today, one year FD rates might be five, five and a half percent for an ICICI bank or HDFC bank, but it might be around eight, eight and a half percent for smaller banks like, I don't know, I'm just throwing out random names like AU Small Finance Bank or, you know, kind of a uh, little lesser for RBL bank kind of thing. So obviously the better the bank or the larger the bank, uh, the lesser uh, amount of, uh, the lesser the interest rate you will get because second point, because if you are taking an FD from a, uh, you know, kind of an HDFC or ICIC or SBI kind of bank, which is much safer, you think. So that is why they will be, you know, kind of giving you lesser, uh, lesser FD rates. But if you are going towards a small finance bank kind of a thing where, you know, kind of, they also know that you are taking some kind of a risk by investing into that. Uh, they are giving you eight, nine percent. That means uh, there is a risk. Obviously, there is a five lakh uh, insurance guarantee by RBI for till the five lakh rupee principal plus interest. But ultimately, the point is that, uh, you know, you are taking some kind of a risk if you are getting a higher uh, returns. There are tax free, taxable bonds as well. So tax free bonds are generally issued by the government agency like PSUs and all. Uh, perpetual bonds, 81 bonds are the, the riskier bonds where, you know, kind of, uh, if you, few of you guys might be remembering in 2000, I think 2019, there was an issue with Yes Bank perpetual bond or 81 bond. Uh, these bonds actually give much higher return, uh, you know, kind of interest rates than compared to normal FDs, but they are considered very, uh, very difficult, oh, sorry, very, very risky and difficult to understand for the for the normal investor. So until unless you have that understanding, you have that knowledge, uh, uh, the, the suggestion is not to get into these. And I think recently, if I remember well, uh, 2020, I think, the actually this, the RBI only said that, you know, kind of, if you need to participate into, into these kind of perpetual bonds, you need to have some minimum investment amount of 10 lakh or something. I don't remember whether that's true or not, but, but something which, which, you know, kind of hitting my mind. Uh, fixed income mutual funds. This is one category where I am going to discuss an entire slide on it. 
because this is something you know kind of me you everybody of us in the retail uh, retail space actually want to invest into this but we don't know that there are so many categories you know ultra short duration low duration mid duration blah 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 duration kis mein karna hai which one uh, should i you know kind of pick and invest so we'll discuss about that in a little detail then there are ncds which are non convertible debentures uh generally you know kind of uh, what banks may issue which is called a fixed deposit generally when the corporate issues these kind of a similar instruments these are generally ncds so ncds are generally having a higher uh, kind of similar kind of quality uh, com uh, companies if you compare with the bank the ncds will have higher interest rate so there are a lot of people who might go for ncds also uh, generally the safer ones obviously are companies like you know reliance ncd or uh many times when i was with edelweiss edelweiss used to keep issuing ncds and now i don't want to comment on whether that was risky or not but obviously depending upon the uh, credit rating quality and all you can take a call commercial papers is something which is not for the retail investors generally but mutual funds invest a lot of money into these commercial papers which eventually you purchase units of mutual fund so you are indirectly actually you know kind of investing into commercial papers i'll come to that later PPF, EPF, NSC, etc. These are some instruments which you know that under your uh, uh, Section 80C for tax deduction, like up to one lakh fifty thousand, and then additional fifty thousand if you are uh, getting into national pension, which I have not written over here. NPS, uh, NPS is not a fixed income product in generally because it also has an equity component. So let's not get into that. So PPF, EPF, I have spoken a lot on LinkedIn and Telegram and elsewhere. Uh, so these are fixed income because obviously the interest rate is preset. the only benefit is that you are getting getting so much of uh, you know kind of taxation benefits over there uh, you are you, you get 1 lakh 50000 deduction as i already said and then obviously on the interest and the uh, you know kind of redemption also ppf doesn't charge you any tax epf does charge you on the on the uh, redemption i believe uh, not very sure but yeah so these are certain other instruments and then obviously under etc category there are a lot of other things like uh, so, some yojanas keep coming from the government no, no i don't remember the exact names but all these instruments are generally uh, fixed income in nature if you talk about the equity natured uh, i mean the 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 options into equities for etc obviously there is elss which i have spoken a lot about that you should obviously utilize the entire 1 lakh 80 or sorry 1 lakh 50000 under etc and if you are covered through different kind of uh, instruments under your i mean from your asset allocation perspective then you should definitely go for elss which is equities for people who are just starting their career again just a suggestion and i'm again focusing on a little bit of a personal finances that uh, if you have just started your career you should definitely you know kind of look to invest a good amount in elss so that the category uh, you you are done with your 1 lakh 50000 taxation benefits anyways coming uh, further bharat bond etf is something which i would want to you know kind of discuss uh, towards the end uh, bharat bond etf is one of the earlier and the first attempt of uh, government for you know retail investors to participate into the fixed income asset class so for the past 3 4 years 5 years i have also observed that uh, uh, sebi has uh, sorry uh, rbi government sebi these all have understood that you know kind of there is a potential to push the fixed income Uh, asset class into retail segment as well now that equities is obviously kind of getting evolved so there are things like bharat bond etf and there is something called rdg which is rbi uh, direct yield fund which uh, launched last year i guess you can start with 10000 into some kind of a government rbi issued bonds and all uh, we can discuss that as well a little later so moving ahead through this example i just wanted to make you understand and just listen carefully into the slide i am not going to uh, show you excel and all but very simple explanation as to how bond price and yields are inversely proportional so just look at this formula now you know that c what is c c is coupon p is the bond price and y is the yield to maturity now yield to maturity is something which we will uh, you know kind of discuss at length but what is coupon and what is m actually i forgot to write uh, uh, m m is basically the principal which you get towards the end of the Can you? So, as I was explaining you guys, let's, sorry. Uh, so, as I was explaining you guys, that let's say that someone issued a five-year uh, bond, um, and they say that okay, because you know, kind of market dynamics are such that generally five-year tenured interest rates are close to let's say eight percent, assuming. 
जो भी होगा जस्ट फॉर दी एग्जाम्पल लेट्स कंसिडर इट एट एट परसेंट दे विल से आई विल पे यू एट परसेंट एवरी ईयर फॉर नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर लेट्स अज्यूम एनुअली दे आर पेइंग राइट सो टूडे दे आर गोइंग टू लॉन्च दैट बॉन्ड एट लेट्स से लेट्स से हंड्रेड रुपीज राइट सो सी बिकम्स योर कूपन कूपन इज वॉट हंड्रेड इन टू एट परसेंट विच इज योर एट रुपीज नाउ ऑल द न्यूमरेटर्स विल हैव एट and the denominator will have 1 plus y i am not putting in any value in y as of now i am just letting the equation as to p which is 100 equals to 8 upon 1 plus y plus 8 upon 1 plus y square plus 8 upon 1 plus y cube and so on and eventually m becomes 100 upon 1 plus y to the power n n over here is 5 as we discussed now when you solve for y through the mathematical uh, you know kind of calculations and all y will come out to be 8% right because it is very simple all the interest which are discounted back to the present value will give the same value at which the bond is currently trading or issued which is 100 to ye to ho gaya thoda complex explanation now let's look at a little easier one when we say and and many times people ask me that is ytm or is your this y yield to maturity is same as interest rates actually no but very much converging now what changes this y and it is always that you know kind of c is fixed how do you get p so first time the bond is issued you have set the value of p as 100 let's say you are issuing at par generally it's not always that it is issued at par but let's say when we say at par means 100 pe issue ho raha we can say that it is being issued at a discount that means 95 96 whatever and we say if it is being issued at a premium 105 104 blah 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 lot of these things now how are let us assume the plain vanilla case issued at 100 but now it starts trading as i was telling you equities do trade a lot liquidity is there in at least the large cap and then you guys know that mid cap small cap mein liquidity keeps on going down bonds also trade but liquidity is very very dismal right but let's say there is liquidity and today some bond which was issued let's say 2 years back not 2 years back I'm, let's let's you know kind of take you back to uh and second half of 2020 you remember that after that february march not after covid crisis but even before the covid crisis you know the interest rates were you know kind of government was uh, in fact uh, the rbi was slashing the interest rates so when interest rates were coming down so someone let's say in october and then obviously covid happened and then the interest rates were slashed like um uh, uh, very aggressively so let's say someone some company would want some to raise funds and they said in Sep november 2020 let's say two years back that we are going to raise this at 4% that time 4 4 and a half 5% was was decent enough the interest rates were like that let's assume 4% now someone who would have you know invested into this bond at 4% they would be happy ki chalo 4% mil raha hai very good so they would have given 100 rupees and would you know kind of uh, agreeing for the next 5 years ki main 4 rupees mujhe saal ka milega and i am happy okay but now what has happened is that in the last few months you know that the interest rates are being increased by us by europe by every country and then obviously in india as well now today assuming that it has gone up to 6% now these guys who are you know kind of holding these bonds from 2 years back will say yaar abhi naya bond lunga to 6% mil raha hai faltu mein i am you know kind of uh, uh, invested at uh, uh, what for for uh, uh, sorry that 4 rupees i am getting as a as a coupon so now the demand of the new bond which is probably now going to be issued would be much higher than this bond to iski to koi demand hi nahi hai because nobody would want to have this bond at 4% whereas new bonds are being issued at 6% so the demand of this goes down when the demand of this bond goes down the ye the the price at which it is it is trading will go down let's say 90 rupees 85 rupees 84 rupees whatever simple na supply and demand equation now if this goes to let's say 90 rupees you put in the value of 19 as a p equals to 90 c remains as 4 then what happens to y now simple maths because the final the p has gone down on below 100 iska matlab seedhe se ye hai ki y will increase Why has to increase when you will calculate the value of YTM over here or Y over here? It will be somewhere around six six and a half percent, which is much higher than you know kind of four percent when it was issued two years back. Abi yehi same bond jo six percent pe issue hai for that Y will equals to will be equals to six percent if it is being issued at par. 
So this is the simple concept that why bond prices and yields are inversely proportional. And because of this inverse proportional kind of a thing, there's a lot of confusion in people's mind because normally we are trained to think in a linear way. लेकिन बोलते हैं अरे इंटरेस्ट रेट बढ़ गया तो लगता है अरे चलो मेरा कुछ तो अच्छा हुआ एसेट क्लास बढ़ी बट जब इंटरेस्ट रेट बढ़ रहा है ना व्हेन इंटरेस्ट रेट्स आर इंक्रीजिंग एक्चुअली यू आर लूजिंग मनी इन द व्हेन इट कम्स टू द बॉन्ड थिंग बिकॉज इवन इन द फिक्स डिपॉजिट एंड इवन लेट से एनी अदर एसेट क्लास वेर यूर इंटरेस्ट रेट है आपको कहीं और कुछ ज्यादा मिल रहा है बट यू आर कंटिन्यू टू गेटिंग अ लोअर काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग सो यू आर लूजिंग ऑन द अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इज वेल it is very similar to lot of people you know that i have seen that they get confused when we are talking about the fx the the exchange rates because if it is going from 75 to 80 82 to 83 the idea is ki are yaar ye to badh raha hai acha hai but then obviously you know that the rupee is actually depreciating and it might be good for some industry but not good for uh, majority industry as a whole so this is the entire concept now when i say ytm which is yield to maturity the idea is that whatever the yield to maturity is currently being offered to you today wo jo bhi equation se aayega if you get into that kind of a bond today and if you hold it till maturity this is very important if you hold it till maturity you will definitely get the approximately the ytm which was promised when you entered in it thoda sa aage ek do slides aur dekhte hain this might get cleared but i'll stop over here to see if there are any questions on to that you can just abhi tak to i have not got any chat i hope you guys are understanding so guys it is is it clear because you know kind of this is a concept which needs a little bit of uh, clarity if there are any questions i'll pause for 15 seconds to see otherwise i'll i'll move ahead Okay, I think fifteen seconds got over. What is the bond? Huh? So Pooja is asking why is the bond at discount increase the ITM? Again, the same point, no Pooja. So the thing is that if mathematically, if P is below hundred and C is already fixed, you know. So initially, when P was at hundred, C was at four, Y was four. So four upon one point zero four plus blah 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 that becomes your hundred. right but when when your p will become 95 then y has to increase no because it's inversely proportional ah now i getting lot of questions okay some are answered clearly okay hi weber so does it imply that when price drops it would make sense to buy the same bond to maintain the yield level so when price is dropping so let's say bond becomes 90 that does not eventually mean that it has become a little underpriced it's not like equity this is where the confusion is so it's not like equity ki aaj equity ka pe ratio kam ho gaya ye ho gaya and then you know i am getting reliance at let's say 2000 and its value will go to 3000 bonds don't behave like that if you are seeing that okay the price has gone down you need to check whether in future the in, what is the interest rates going to either they are going to increase or they are going to decrease in ideal scenario you would want the bond Uh, the interest rates to go down in order to make more profit from uh, uh, these kind of mutual funds or bonds and etc etc so now when we see and this is where the lot of questions come on the you know kind of uh, telegram as well that we are seeing that the bonds are going that the interest rates are going to increase because fed is increasing every now and then 75 basis point 25 basis point in the increasing interest rate scenario what is great what is good honestly in the in increasing interest rate scenario both your equity theoretically both your equity and fixed income classes actually uh, underperform i mean or give negative returns or not negative but at least you know kind of lower returns because dono jage in the equation of this bond price versus yield as well as somewhere in the dcf model the interest rate is in the denominator so you increase the denominator the value of the share price or value of the bond will go down right so now at today today's stage at 5th november 2022 what do you think the interest rates will move from here either they are going up or they are going down that you need to you know kind of uh, kind of anticipate let's say for another 
just just as assumption for another 6 to 12 months i would presume that interest rates will continue to go up so whether it makes an uh, makes sense to invest into these bonds as of now maybe not maybe let them go further below and then probably get into these so what you have asked jasmine is basically that you can invest into these bonds when you are investing into one of those bonds but my focus in this session would be why not invest into a mutual fund because they are taking care of all these kind of discrepancies. So I'll come to that later anyways. <clears throat> if I sell the bond when interest rates have increased, then I will realize the current market yield. If I sell the bond when interest rates have increased and I will realize the current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, see, you would have gotten into the bond at 100, but now the interest rates have increased and you sell it today when the bond is trading at 95. So accordingly, you will realize today's yield. Right, but you have made a capital uh, uh, gains loss also, na? capital loss basically. So you have to take both into account because you would have continued to receive the coupons for let's say two years. So wo char rupay, char rupay karke do bar to mila hai. But then when you are selling that 100 ka bond at 95, you have also made some capital loss as well. So you need to keep that into account when you are calculating your total returns because then your yield, current market yield obviously, uh, if you don't take into account your capital gains, capital losses. Coupon is same as interest rate. Again, say, uh, same confusion. So coupon is not same as interest rate. Or see, there are three terms. Coupon, interest rates, and yield. So let's talk about all these differently. Coupons is something which is in the plain vanilla case or in majority of the cases, coupon is fixed. Coupon is actually the interest rate which you get when you enter, you know, whatever the bond is issued at par, 100 pe agar issue hota hai. Achha, one more very important concept. Let's say the bond when it was issued at par, let's say at 100 and the company promises to give you the coupon, which is equal to the interest rate that time at 4% means you will get the coupon at 4 rupees every year for let's say 5 years. But now ho gaya, IPO ho gaya, kind of, let's talk about an equity parlance. IPO is done. Now the bond started trading into the market. Now the bond can go at 105. So you are buying the bond at 105, but you are going to get coupon at 4 rupees only, not 105 into 4%, which would be what 4.2. No, that coupon is fixed at 4 now, right? Now, because you have invested 105 and you are getting 4 rupees, obviously your yield will not be 4%. It will be less than 4%. I hope this is clear because... 105 ka bond aaj kharida, har saal 4, 4 rupees mila, but towards the end of the tenure of the bond, which is like 5 years or maybe you invested 2 years later, so bache 3 years mein, you get par value, the M, M is like the par value you get back, which is 100 rupees you will get back. So, wahan 5 rupees ka to loss waisi hai. But why did you get into this bond when it was trading at a, um, you know, kind of a premium? Because you might not there are two cases on it that you might be thinking ki abhi kya hai na, ki, uh, interest rates will, will probably further fall. If the interest rates further fall, this 105 might also become 110 or 115 or blah, blah, blah. Right. So in order to make that use and if you want to sell also before maturity, you will probably buy this because your 105 will become 110, 115, 120. And then you don't really, you know, kind of bother about that four rupees. And a very, very great example of this is December 2019 and I'll come to that example which I'll give you through the Bharat bond when it was first time you know kind of um, uh, first time it was launched I think there have been three four trenches of Bharat bond which have been launched but first time it was launched in December 2019 and luckily Edelweiss did a great timing on it and I'll come to that later on and this answer will also be probably solved. I think I'll have to stop questions now, but okay, a lot of questions are there. Let, let me complete all these. So if I sell the bond, uh, coupon is the same. Coupon is equivalent to interest rate for the bond issuer for the company. Same doesn't apply for the interest. Perfectly said uh, Suchinta. Uh, why does sovereign gold bond trade at lower price than market price of gold, though it will fetch 2.5% additional interest as well as it should trade higher? Abhi, you're talking about SGBs now, but okay. Apply the same concept. See, SGBs would obviously have given eight years ka SGB hota hai. Uh, you know, uske baad you can, you can uh, take it out. So eight years ka some lock-in is there and every year you are getting that two and a half percent ka interest rate. Now, if you enter it five years later on, so 
एंड वाई इज इट ट्रेडिंग एट अ डिस्काउंट के टू रीजन हो सकते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एस जी बीज है पुअर लिक्विडिटी वेरी पुअर लिक्विडिटी सो इट मे पॉसिबल दैट इट इज ट्रेडिंग एट अ डिस्काउंट हाउ एवर इट्स नॉट कंपल्सरी abhi i don't know i don't have the ready data for it but i have seen lot of sdbs even trading at a premium also because hardly 5 or 6 or 10 units will be trading in a day so wo to depending upon supply and demand kahin na kahin it is either trading at a premium or a discount but older ones actually trade at a discount but if you want to buy it if you go to buy it you will not get a, a seller who will you know kind of sell to you at that price so wo try kar lena on the screen you may say see the last traded price as a discount but you might not get at a discount but if you are getting at a discount or sahi mein execute ho jata hai order so i would say go for that sgb um ideally i should buy when interest rates are expected to go down yes i answered that you mentioned it is attractive to invest in bonds when interest rates are dropping so does that mean a person who might have bought 2020 bharat bond etf expiring in 2025 would benefit more even if the ytm at the, that point in the time were 5.4% so karuna uh, look at what the ytm is now right for 2025 maturing paper if the ytm today i don't know maybe it would be 6 1/2 7% i'm just assuming right so it is better that you you know kind of you will get more interest now because if in 2020 they said that if you hold till 5 years for 5 years you will get 5.4% at that point this would have increased to 7% 7 1/2% 6 1/2%whatever because in the last 2 years if you had hold if you had you know kind of bought that in 2020 आज दो साल में तुमने तीन या चार परसेंट बनाया होता है इससे दैट मीन्स इफ यू विल होल्ड टिल मेच्योरिटी टिल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट वॉट वॉज प्रोमिस बैक देन विच इज फाइव पॉइंट फोर बट लेट से यू डिड नॉट गो देन नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इन्वेस्ट इन टू दैट तो आज का वाई टी एम देखना पड़ेगा वॉट इज दी वाई टी एम विच इज बींग प्रोमिस टूडे इट वुड बी वील वील सी दैट एग्जाम्पल समवेयर सेवन परसेंट सो इट इज गुड दैट यू एंटर इन टू दैट भारत बॉन्ड टूडे interest rate interest going to increase floating bonds should be prefer yes yes floating uh, bonds is what we should we should prefer i'll come to that i have that slide um floating rate bonds always trade at par interest rate theek hai chalo let's let get back into the to the slides do teen hi aur hai i'll just wrap it up and then continue this awesome discussion acha this is a great slide which i have made so think about it before you start asking questions about new age companies which are offering 11% uh, xirr and 12% xirr for two years and all so i know so, so many people actually ask these questions ki how is this i am not naming any company over here but uh, just look at this quality returns and time these are the three parameters which you would uh, you know which you should actually look at abhi isme kya hai trade off hai you can listen to me carefully you can only get two out of these three at one time when i say two quality everybody wants ki high quality ho matlab risk kam ho right so you need greater quality products where the risk of losing money is minimal right sorry then the second component is returns obviously every sane person today would want returns high returns sorry and time एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स की जितनी जल्दी ये रिटर्न मिल जाए उतना बढ़िया है आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू वेट फॉर टेन ईयर्स सो हाई क्वालिटी हाई रिटर्न एंड लोअर टाइम ये तीनों में से आपको सिर्फ दो ही मिल सकता है लेट्स टेक सम एग्जाम्पल्स हाई क्वालिटी एंड हाई रिटर्न मीन्स लेट से गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड लेट से सम ग्रेट कॉर्पोरेट बॉन्ड बट इफ यू गेट हाई क्वालिटी विद सो मच लेसर रिस्क एंड यू वॉन्ट सेवन एट नाइन टेन परसेंट बॉस टाइम लगेगा दस साल वेट करो नौ दस साल लगेगा आठ साल लगेगा यू नीड टू स्टे इन्वेस्टेड यू कांट गेट योर एट नाइन परसेंट टेन परसेंट इन टू इयर्स राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट दो सो यू आर सेइंग लेसर टाइम हायर रिटर्न्स कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन क्वालिटी इन दैट वे क्वालिटी यू नीड टू बी अटल यू नो वेरी ऑफ की यार हो सकता है पूरा प्रिंसिपल ही खत्म हो जाए आई मीन देर कैन बी केसेस यू नो वॉट हैपन विद फ्रेंकलिन टेम्पल्टन म्यूचुअल फंड मैन इट कैन हैपन विद म्यूचुअल फंड uh you know some new age products obviously are going to be very risky uh things might not have gone southwards till now but if they do unlike equity you know fixed income mein kya hota hai ki entire principal might go away equities mein to kya hai because it is getting traded you bought something at 100 chalo at least you will sell it at 50 or 60 until unless there are like multiple level of lower circuits for like 
एटर्निटी राइट तो कुछ तो वैल्यू मिल जाएगी ना बट फिक्स इनकम में वो वैल्यू शायद कुछ भी नहीं मिले नाउ लुक एट क्वालिटी वर्सेज टाइम सो यू वॉन्ट हाई क्वालिटी पेपर्स बट टाइम होराइजन If it is, you know, kind of lower, like one year, two year. If you are okay with that, then returns pay compromise, boss. Then you will get returns like a five percent, six percent, seven lower returns, right? So out of these three, only you can get two. Up, see, look where you can take that risk, where you can compromise for you. Is there something high quality, high returns, lower time? I don't know, but if I get it, that's the the most brilliant thing which can happen. right so so let's move ahead yeah i had plotted this and i have shown this diagram in many of my previous webinars see basically i just wanted to show over here that yellow is fixed income red is equity so all the fixed income will have and i was talking about this initial in the initial part that higher the returns uh, higher the risk lower the returns lower the risk so you need to compromise don't go by the 6% 12% whatever this is like an old Uh, even I forgot to remove that copyright 2020, so it was made in 2020. So I put in some returns over, you know, kind of according to those those times. Now let's come into this one of the most interesting slides uh, of this of this presentation. Uh, Akshay has written just a suggestion. You can document this three sagar your theory. अरे नहीं यार सिंपल है ठीक है क्या कॉपीराइट कॉपीराइट स्लाइड्स का कर लिया मैंने नाउ लेट्स लुक एट दिस जस्ट अ सेकंड ओके नाउ लुक एट दिस सो व्हाट आई डिड जस्ट टुडे इन द मॉर्निंग आई ओपन टू वैल्यू रिसर्च ऑनलाइन सो देयर आर 16 कैटेगरीज वेयर सेबी एक्चुअली यू नो पहले सुन लो 16 कैटेगरीज वेयर सेबी एक्चुअली हैज क्लासिफाइड फिक्स्ड इनकम म्यूचुअल फंड्स डेट म्यूचुअल फंड्स Just like equity has large cap, mid cap, small cap, large and mid, mid and small, blah blah, flexi, multi, arbitrage, etc., etc. Isi taraf uh, fixed income ke bhi, debt ke bhi, there are sixteen categories. Now all those sixteen categories are on what basis? So when we talk about uh, equities, generally they are based on market capitalization, right? Large, mid, small, large and mid, blah blah. Uh, for this, they are basically on the basis of tenure. Ki if there are you know kind of very short term papers which is which are maturing in 20 days 30 days 80 days wo ek category ho jayegi because as i said if the tenure is lesser the credit risk is very low because you have the visibility ye bhi bahut important point hai which i missed you understand that thing even if there is a risky company who is issuing some kind of a uh, you know kind of a bond uh, where the tenure is very less like 180 days तो छह महीने में उस कंपनी का क्रैश होना और बैंक होने के चांसेस आर मच लेसर देन फाइव इयर्स मे बी सो दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंड विद लॉट ऑफ दिस म्यूचुअल फंड्स इन बैक इन लाइक 2020 इज दैट दे वुड हैव इन्वेस्टेड लाइक वोडाफोन पेपर्स एक्चुअली यू नो काइंड ऑफ दे कुड नॉट रिटर्न मनी बैक दे वर अदर फ्यू कंपनीज एज वेल एडीएजी ग्रुप वॉज देयर दे वर नॉट एबल टू रिटर्न मनी बैक बिकॉज इफ यू इन टूडे इफ यू आई फाइव टेल यू की इन्वेस्ट इन फॉर टेन ईयर्स इन टू एक्स वाई जी कंपनी जो आज बहुत अच्छी लग रही होगी मैं नाम वाम नहीं ले रहा अभी बट आज अगर वो बहुत अच्छी कंपनी लग रही है फॉर इन्वेस्टिंग यू नो काइंड ऑफ इन टेन ईयर्स यू नेवर नो वॉट विल हैपन देर कैन बी अ चेंज इन मैनेजमेंट देर कैन बी सम कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस इशूज देर कैन बी लॉट ऑफ दीज थिंग सम गवर्नमेंट रेगुलेशन ओनली पॉलिसी चेंजेस माइट हेम्पर दू नो काइंड ऑफ ग्रोथ प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ दैट कंपनी और इंडस्ट्री चेंज हो गई सी डी एसेट ये सी डी ऑडियो कसेट्स uh digital cam oh, sorry the the cameras which we used to have uh, in the so all these industry actually got disrupted so these are lot of chances but agle 6 mahine mein aisa hoga kya chances are too low so accordingly lesser the tenure uh more comfort you will get ki yahan pe liquidity bhi achhi ho sakti hai and then risk is also low but then returns will also be low now let's look at this thing first column says instrument which are the 16 categories which are which i picked from the mc or the sebi website description then i will talk about ytm which is yield to maturity then modified duration then average maturity this data i have taken from uh, value research online and i'll show value research online uh, ka wo page where you can you know kind of find this data and can make sense out of it one thing please keep in mind never ever look at historical returns For that mutual fund, 
कि अरे लास्ट वन ईयर में फोर परसेंट दिया फाइव परसेंट दिया अरे वो इक्विटीज के लिए चलता है डेट के लिए बिल्कुल ट्रैप डेटा पॉइंट है कोई सेंस नहीं है उस डेटा पॉइंट का मत देखना कभी The only three things which you want to, or in fact, there are a couple of more things which I'll show you when I open value research. Now, see overnight, one day maturity papers. Nami is overnight, very safe, ample liquidity, and generally issued by the government, the you know RBIs and all. Currently, YTM is at six point zero nine percent. Now, obviously, we will say YTM. Ka matlab, this is all annualized YTM. Okay, so it's not like you one day will invest six percent. It will not be like that. तो द पेपर्स का उसका पूरा वाइट जो यील्ड आ रहा है वो फ्रॉम दैट इक्वेशन इज कमिंग टू बी 6.09 सो मॉडिफाइड ड्यूरेशन जो मैंने लिखा है एंड देन देयर इज अ सेकंड रो में जस्ट लुक एट लिक्विड वेयर आई हैव रिटन लिक्विड फंड्स मैक्वेले ड्यूरेशन लेस देन 91 डेज वेरी सेफ एंड लिक्विड मैक्वेले ड्यूरेशन एंड मॉडिफाइड ड्यूरेशन में देयर इज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ डिफरेंस बट इफ यू कैलकुलेट वन यू कैन इजीली कैलकुलेट द अदर what modified duration is actually giving you is a sense of um, you know kind of uh, ki how many so macquelly duration actually gives you a sense that after how many years you can actually get back your uh, money back so it's a weighted average kind of a number so the entire categorization of these ultra short low duration have been made on macquelly duration but modified duration also takes into account a little bit of calculation of ytm so formula is actually your modified duration is equal to your macquelly duration divided by some number like which is 1 plus ytm upon n ytm is your yield to maturity which you already have over here macquelly duration will always be higher than your modified duration but very very marginally so let's not get into details if you want to read more about the examples and the calculation you can go to investopedia and read that ab bahut interesting cheez isme ye dekho कि जैसे जैसे ड्यूरेशन बढ़ रहा है वाईटीएम का क्या सीन है एट 0.01 इट इज एट 6.09 0.11 6.27 ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीजिंग नॉट अग्रेसिवली और और यू नो काइंड ऑफ स्टीपली इंक्रीजिंग वेरी ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीजिंग एंड इवन फॉर मीडियम टू लॉन्ग अच्छा वन डिस्क्लेमर ओवर इट दिस इज जस्ट फॉर एन आईसीआईसीआई प्रोडेंशियल ए लॉन्च फंड इन टू ऑल द कैटेगरीज बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली ऑल दीज big amcs like hdfc icici cis bi and all will obviously have a you know kind of launched in all the categories the smaller ones would have only picked the few categories so i took icici ka data the numbers will also not be very very secu, uh, you know kind of a uh, theoretical because it also depends lot upon uh, the aum and the supply and demand and lot of these things but this will closely represent the yield curve abhi yield curve kya hota hai yield curve ki slide dalna bhul gaya but then you understand what yield curve is डिनोमिन उसमें एक्स एक्सिस पे वी विल टेक द डिफरेंट मेच्योरिटी पीरियड एंड वाई एक्सिस पे वी विल टेक दील्ड वाई टी एम सो फॉर नाइनटी वन डेज लेस हमने एक प्लॉट किया पॉइंट वहां पे सिक्स पॉइंट टू सेवन परसेंट देन थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ थोड़ा आगे बढ़े वी प्लॉट सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन टू देन सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व मंथ में सेवन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन एंड अल्टीमेटली वी वी ड्रॉ द एंटायर चार्ट and then connect all the points so ideal scenario mein when everything is going fine and you know real uh, ideal world this will be an upward sloping curve because as i said higher the tenure more the returns you will get for whatever we discussed but many times kya hota hai na ki this curve actually keeps on dancing so you would have read that sometimes it's an inversely or, or inverted yield curve inverted yield curve matlab puri kahani ulti ho gayi so for lesser duration thing you are getting more higher itm but if you go 10 years you get lower why does that happen that happens only when and and there is there are lot of theories and lot of historical data evidence and all that says ki jab jab aisa hua hai we have uh, we have seen a recession in few years right kyunki ultimately the point is that that if you are seeing a 5 year 6 year ka ytm less than today's ytm means in the future the country is either going or the company is going into uh, you know kind of an abyss so wo to fat jayega to isliye wahan pe people are not people are actually selling those bonds of five year tenure but buying of lesser tenure because lesser they are still convinced ki 6 mahine mein kuch nahi ho raha but five years mein we are not sure what will happen hence the curve actually goes inverted these days and i think if you read newspaper of today yesterday day before i think i was reading lot of these fund managers are pointing it out ki uh, currently the yield curve is almost flat which i thought let's plot the data and see ourselves is actually flat dekha jaye to thi halka sa upward sloping hai but it's not that greatly upward sloping 
that means today even your liquid fund is giving you 6.27 and your money market which is chalo theek hai money market is across it's like a you know kind of one year tak ke entire world. let's say let's look at short duration medium duration medium to long so these are like you know kind of somewhere there only it's not properly upward sloping so this is kind of a, i would say flat to upward sloping when this happens what what you would ideally would want to do is why to take that risk of investing into a five year or a seven year or a eight year uh, uh, you know kind of a bond invest into shorter term bonds because they are giving you almost similar kind of a ytm which you will get after investing for five years or seven years ka paper second column is a little modified duration is now the concept is clear but one very important thing of that modified duration is a mathematical thing it says whatever the duration and this modified duration and maculate duration are uh, this modified duration is into uh, years right is 0.34 years 0.78 years and also wo main likhna bhul gaya now it says that 1% change in interest rate will result in that much change in the value of the bond so if the interest rate change is 1% upar above because inversely proportional so if interest rate rises by 1% let's take from medium to long wala 2.77 the value of this bond actually falls by 2.77% so ulta relationship hai so obviously you know that higher the modified duration riskier or you can say more sensitive to the interest rate movement this bond is ulta bhi hota hai agar interest rate gir raha hai to the value will also rise also right again wo jo p equals to c ka formula dikhaya tha so this is one thumb rule or not thumb rule but actually it happens theoretically that uh, the increase and decreases like that so until and unless so let's say you invest in a 10 year paper now when you invest into a 10 year paper then what happens is that 1% increase will obviously impact your 10 year paper much more than your uh, maybe you know ultra short duration or a low duration kind of a kind of a mutual fund so this is the entire concept now average maturity is actually the weighted average maturity of icici prudential amc that liquid fund let's say ultra short whatever now papers they would have taken unka maturity kuch hoga because all bond funds as i mentioned all bonds actually bonds have a fixed kind of a maturity wo kabhi to kabhi mature honge hi na to unka average maturity le liya how much time is left for them to mature and again the same concept you need to apply that con- concept according to your thoughts ki you know kind of it's just like equity people can say that okay buy reliance so you also know that okay if i buy uh, you know kind of uh, rbi ka paper it is good only here the visibility is there how much interest you are getting there there is no visibility but it's still ultimately the call is yours whether you want to take a reliance ka stock or rbi ka bond fund or not and then accordingly you can make your call so assumption is yours whether interest rate will go up or down i can just provide you some kind of a theoretical you know kind of um uh, gyan uh, over it so average maturity you understood now let's go one by one so liquid ho gaya ultra short ho gaya low duration so it's like 3 to 6 6 to 12 up to 1 year 1 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 7 above 7 now long duration just is giving you 7 years ka macule duration ya fir modified duration is there average maturity of those papers is close to 11 and a half years right but they are giving you 7.62% yaar agar mujhe ultra short 6.92 de raha hai na so i would definitely not want to invest today into a long duration fund which is only giving me 7.62 ka ytm had my ultra short giving me a 6% or a sub 6% like 5 and a half or something then probably i would you know kind of looked into a long duration of 7.62 or in current scenario i would have wanted a long duration uh, ytm of 8 8 and a half or 9% even if it is a jilt now if you see what is a jilt jilt is basically uh, invest 80% into government securities so much safer and hence if you compare corporate bond with jilts bond which is corporate bond obviously is highest rated 80% but still triple a rated bhi na government securities se to thoda zyada hi risky hai na so 7.34% versus 6.82% again the same thing higher the credit risk or higher the riskiness of a corporate bond you deserve a higher ytm given acha iska average maturity mein dekho kitna difference aa raha hai i mean uh, uh, depending upon so if you open an hdfc kind of a uh, corporate bond to look into that it uska average maturity could be could be much much different however modified duration will be very much close and ytms would be very much closer to each other so tabhi bolte hai ki i mean lot of people ask that which liquid fund should i buy 
your answer is or which ultra short or which overnight if you look at the top 3 uh, you know kind of uh, categories i would rather say go into that jiske sabse zyada aum hai because they have so much of ample liquidity that you will get eventually same kind of a ytm 6.09 ki jagah 6.00 ya 6.2 ho jayega isse zyada ka difference nahi aane wala hai and these amounts these changes are not going to impact your life not going to change your life until and unless you are investing 100 crores and then so you are an institution or a super hni so anyways the and and i don't think so any super hni would be attending my session so Uh, so this is what it is the floater fund someone was saying the floater fund would have you know kind of a better aspect so floater fund i agree so 65% minimum they need to invest into floating rate instruments so there are few instruments which will continue to give coupons which are as i said initially that i am going to explain you in a plain vanilla kind of a scenario where coupon is fixed but then there are complex scenarios where coupon is sometime linked to let's say repo rate or so many you know kind of um, uh, rates which are anyways going around ki interest rate badhega to coupon bhi badha denge so these are kind of a floating rate instruments so if you invest into a floater fund which actually are not very popular in india you will actually be you will actually benefit from the in increasing interest rate because they are continuously you know churning their portfolios but even uh, floater fund today is uh, as of now giving you 10.1% with a 0.64 modified duration but 9.23 ka uh, average maturity you need you should see hdfc kitna de raha hai sbi kitna de raha hai blah blah and then uh, you know accordingly you can make your call banking and psu debt fund is one very good category which is considered to be very safe where they only invest into the top banks uh, ka bonds or psu ka bonds so that actually lends it a safe kind of a category and sometimes you know these are a part of a which is called um, rollover funds rollover funds ya fir target maturity funds kya hota hai ki they obviously ob al always will have an average maturity or a target or a modified duration as fixed कि दो साल तीन साल का ही होगा तो दे कीप ऑन चर्निंग यू नो काइंड ऑफ जिसका दो साल कंप्लीट हो गया है तो इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव दैट वन मोर ईयर काइंड ऑफ थिंग दे विल इन्वेस्ट इनटू वन ईयर का मैच्योरिटी का पेपर सो दे कीप देयर यू नो काइंड ऑफ एवरेज मैच्योरिटी मॉडिफाइड ड्यूरेशन एक्चुअली वेरी सेम uh across the entire you know kind of a tenure but that's some some uh, you know kind of a little advanced topic easily thoda samjhana possible nahi hai but just read about it if you want to write just write rollover funds and can read about it credit risk fund is the last thing which i would want to just touch and obviously it will always have a most of the time it will have a the highest ytm across all categories so currently icici credit risk is giving 8.54 Now there was a time when you know kind of credit risk became villain, credit risk funds because of uh, certain uh, uh, mutual funds basically or Franklin uh, Templeton. What happens in credit risk funds is see, Crystal, Ikra, Care, and all those uh, you know kind of uh, credit rating agencies obviously issue some kind of a credit rating. If the credit rating is triple A, means it is very much uh, you know kind of uh, highest uh, uh, credit quality. But if it is like triple B or BB minus or something like that, depending upon what rating you have been issued, agar ab loan mangne jaoge na, if you are that company who has been issued triple A rating, then you will get loan at a very low rate. Let's say you will get loan at seven percent, eight percent, whatever. But if you are a BB minus or a BB plus kind of a company, very lesser uh, credit rated, then banks will say, "Arey, aapka credit rating is very bad, so I will give you a loan at twelve percent." Right? now 11% or 12% whatever now obviously these companies who are giving interest at 11 12% you don't want to invest into that because yaar matlab ulte sense mein dekhna again it's it's that complex because if you are okay to take that kind of a risk that you want to you know kind of invest in a company's bond which is giving you 11 12% with a bb minus kind of a rating then you are compromising on the quality however what credit risk funds will do is that they will study Ki what is the future, you know, kind of prospects, growth prospects of this kind of a company, BB minus company. Kya ye BB minus company itna achhe se grow kar sakti hai? Kya uske financials itne clean hai? Growth prospects hai that they will tomorrow they might become an A or an AA plus or an AA kind of a company. If yes, that means unka interest rate or yield will go down. So today if they are getting loans at eleven percent, tomorrow they can get that loan at seven percent. and when i said that when that interest rate goes down the bond prices goes up 
that means they are betting on those companies that their credit rating will improve if their credit rating improves interest rates of ytm goes down bond prices goes up they they make a good you know kind of a profit in 2020 what happened 2019 2020 lot of these companies they actually first of all they got downgraded to ulta bhi hota hai if they are, you are getting downgraded matlab aapke interest rate has gone further up i don't remember which were or those companies but ilnfs like triple a say see the d so those who had invested into ilfs kind of papers actually you know kind of gone because all of a sudden their credit rating what they might have thought will improve abhi triple a se improve to nahi hogi but then obviously they have some high quality uh, papers as well uh ekdam se d ho gaya to interest rate increase bond prices went down dhfl same kind of a scenario all of a sudden triple a se d or or c whatever it was so credit risk funds are taking that kind of a, you know risk uh if that does not happen so it is lot dependent upon the global macro factors also which other bonds are actually you know not that because ultimately company achhi hogi payment aata rahega to interest rate movement hata do ytm tak invested raho maturity tak you will definitely get that kind of a yield if you have you know kind of that kind of a patience so i hope this slide is clear i can take questions later on uh let's me cover. this is the last slide so this just a summary of some few um, uh, sundry points which i was you know kind of i just had in mind so first of all guys you need to uh, you know kind of have that in mind ki returns are directly proportional to risk i have already covered that tax implications let, let me just cover tax implications see for debt securities no 3 year is considered to be a long term kind of a thing for equities it is 1 year for other unlisted securities or land it is 2 year so lot of complexity from our our uh, government on in the income tax department but let's consider for fixed income asset class it's 3 years if you invest or if you you know kind of book your gains uh, before 3 years you will have to pay your tax lab returns uh, which let's say you are assuming you are in the highest tax lab you have to pay 30% if you in, uh, uh, book your uh, gains before 3 years to wahan to aapka slab rate lag jayega but if you hold it beyond 3 years then what happens is the interest rate is 20% with indexation benefits now what is indexation benefits so let's say today the cpi which is your inflation rate it has is is at 100 assuming after 3 years it becomes at 110 so that 10% ka jo benefit hai na in 3 years that you will get so basically simplifying 20% will actually be you know kind of coming down to 14% 15% so average interest jo average taxation jo rate aata hai if you invest for more than 3 years 4 years 5 years 6 years comes down to be somewhere around you know 15 14 15% longer the tenure lesser the rate but somewhere around 11 12 13% pe aake stagnate kar jata hai even if you are investing into a 10 year paper which is good which is great returns you know so these are the tax uh, implication on that never see historic returns in case of fixed income mutual funds i have told you you will get approximately ytm if you hold till maturity understanding the yield curve is very important i hope you understood you may lose your entire capital and like equities if things go southward if things seem to good to be true it probably is uh, so koi agar 12% de raha hai 2 saal ka to you know that what all checks due diligence you need to do by yourself there are few new age products which are you know kind of uh, giving you some kind of return promises if you are comfortable taking that kind of a risk on quality and if you understand the business model there are really good opportunities where you can make uh, decent returns like lease financing invoice discounting these will have a separate you know kind of these can have a separate webinars of their own but p2p financing senior secured bonds inka apna alag alag funde hote hain you might have heard about these terms but there are few startups which are actually you know kind of getting into these kind of uh, papers uh, many are good there can be some you know kind of uh, sorry uh, some uh, due diligence which you need to do on the quality for yourself but never my suggestion would be never invest more than even if you are doing so never invest more than let's say 15 to 20% of your debt portion on your of your asset allocation debt portion ka bhi 20% se zyada inme mat invest karna uh, because that would be a little higher uh, risky because my point is that boss if you are get if you are being promised 10% in 2 years and market is equity markets is doing good or decent enough 
तो यार वो टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व परसेंट तो तुम्हें निफ्टी के ईटीएफ से ही मिल जाएगा इवन निफ्टी विल गिव यू दैट मच सो वाई टेक दैट काइंड ऑफ रिस्क निफ्टी ईटीएफ कैन गिव यू सिमिलर रिटर्न एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू मी ऑल दोज हुव बीन लिसनिंग टू मी फॉर सम टाइम रीडिंग माय लिंक इन टेलीग्राम बस नेक्स्ट टेन ईयर्स इज इंडिया राइट तो अभी वी आर लुकिंग एट वॉट ग्लोबल टर्मोइल इज हैपनिंग एवरी मार्केट इज गोइंग डाउन इंडिया इज इंटैक्ट India market is like if not going up uh, like 2020 or 2021 they are there they are not making many losses like a 25 30% like other nasdaq nyc and european indices so this is because of the quality because all the money is now people have globally understood ki sara paisa bhi india mein hi lagana hai because there is no other better avenues people according to me that people are getting fii are getting globally some or the other problem are continuing to happen in in other countries so if you are in india and if you are here don't even think of you know kind of investing into some other country obviously i told that i have some 5 10% exposure of my equity portion into us tech fund us actually uh, uh, as a country i have stopped my uh, china investments as i mentioned in other day in my telegram group uh, so i have i am super bullish and if you are super bullish on india so then there is no point of you know kind of getting into these risky instruments i would suggest now the question one last question which comes to lot of people is yaar mere paas abhi bonus aaya hai and i don't want to invest into equities which i can, uh, i am okay because lump sum equity investing is anyways i don't you know kind of suggest uh, fib karu but uh, if you got a bonus of let's say 10 lakh rupees what should i do with that there is something called stp uh, systematic transfer plan where uh, you invest into an stp uh, sorry uh, kind of a liquid fund or an ultra duration short duration fund or a low duration fund so you are getting a little higher rate than your savings account savings mein 4% milega udhar 7% mil raha hai and then continue to do sips into equity fund of the same age. i mean that's that's okay so this is where you know kind of and then there are certain needs ki yaar mereko 6 mahine mein paisa chahiye so if i need some money 6 months down the line for for some some goal i know then why should i you know kind of continue to have it in my savings account वन ईयर बैक आई वुड से यार सेविंग्स में ही पड़ा रहे दो बिकॉज हार्डली एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट वॉज गिविंग यू मच हायर देन तो कितना अगर हजार दो हजार का फर्क पड़ भी जाता तो इट वुडेंट हैव चेंज योर लाइफ बट नाउ दैट यू नो काइंड ऑफ देर इज बीन अ कंसिस्टेंट इंक्रीज और द स्प्रेड इज बिकमिंग अ लिटिल लार्जर विज ऑफ ऑफ दीज लो ड्यूरेशन फंड और शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन फंड विज अव इज योर सेविंग्स अकाउंट देन यू कैन कंसिडर दैट अदर थिंग यू कैन कंसिडर ऑब्वियसली इज दी एफ टीज बट With knowing the tax implication, tax के बाद FD कुछ नहीं देता यार. So that is my my concern. But if your anyways time horizon is less than six months, one year, even two years, then anyways you are paying similar kind of tax on uh, FD as well as this. If your parents are there, some tricks are there that if if you have you know kind of senior citizens as parents or your mom is not earning anything, so you know kind of her earnings actually are less than 5 lakhs or something so wo tax tax nahi lagta hai senior citizens get some 1% or a half percent higher interest rate so these all tricks you can you know kind of utilize and invest into fds otherwise uh, uh, there's no point um so i'll i'll stop here uh, let me just look at the chat box and see what people are saying so okay akshay cannot see that oh shit i hope you saw the table later on uh, naman web of can you repeat what modified duration is naman i don't know ye kab pucha tha but i hope it is clear agar nahi hai to investopedia pe there is a great explanation given please read that rnp supposed to use ytm a duration to assess risk reward ratio yaar one thing i actually forward guys is to show you value research online ek bar dikhai deta hu yaar sorry 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 uh, just just hold on no okay so i hope it is visible so guys see value research online has changed its ux a little bit and i am not showing morning star as i always show for equities is because of the morning star mein i hope you guys are comfortable so i just thought ki value research online is also good uh, so if you just open value research online on the overview they will give you well, uh, one year what is this 4.38 there is one year returns hence that is what i said never see this तो देखने की जरूरत ही नहीं है नाउ व्हाट विल दे शो ऑन द ओवरव्यू पेज रिटर्न्स इग्नोर कैलकुलेट एसआईपी रिटर्न्स इग्नोर रिस्क ऑब्वियसली आई हैव टोल्ड यू कि किस फंड का कैसे रिस्क होता है इग्नोर फंड पोर्टफोलियो हां दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच यू कैन लुक एट बट 92.57% डेट 7.43% कैश एंड कैश इक्विवेलेंट कैश एंड कैश इक्विवेलेंट आर लाइक ओवरनाइट फंड्स 
whatever. So it is like very safe, hundred percent safe, mostly. Uh, but that is different instruments. Credit rating weightage is important. That triple A may two point six eight percent hai, but S, uh, the sovereign fund is seven point seventeen point three percent. But A one category may seventy three percent. So this is a little you know kind of uh, and seven point four three percent is cash equivalent. So you can consider the A one category cash. I mean a little risky and all. So peer comparison, but liquid actually not to worry. Peer comparison, they they are giving returns again. See returns are almost same. Sab ka aisa hi jaane wala hai. Koi point nahi hai dekhne ka. Crap, chodo. Other details, crap, chodo. Ha, assets is a little you know kind of important. That forty thousand crores they have. So towards the higher side, you know, kind of so you can be a little okay. Now come to this point. अगर इसमें देखना ही है ना तो सीधे देखो portfolio. Now when you see the portfolio, this is the table which you should see concentration. Number of securities are hundred and five, but it's okay because obviously they have like a forty thousand crore ka uh, AUA. यहाँ पे it's not like equities where I say कि seventy stocks, eighty stocks are too high. Modified duration, average maturity, and yield to maturity. I have already shown you, and you know, kind of discussed the implications. This is one thing which I did not touch upon was average credit rating. Now, one thing is that I don't know how these guys calculate value research online. उनका अपना method होगा. But average credit rating is triple A, which is you know, kind of you can relax. It is good. अभी वो A one और triple A को किस तरह average ले रहे हैं? This is something which you need to. I think A one might be close to triple A. If someone knows. Is it double A? If someone knows, please type in the chat. I have no clue because it might be. Sorry, Kier, Ikra, Crystal, ke alag alag bhi funde hote hain. Uh, now top holdings. Just look at the top holdings. Five of the assets are going into HDFC. Ka CP. How to read this? HDFC ka hai ye. HDFC bank nahi. This is HDFC ka commercial paper instrument is given over here. Acha. Okay. The ratings for commercial paper are A one. That means they are they are safe. Uh, so equivalent to triple A, and this is actually maturing ten days later, right? So five percent. Reserve Bank of India T bills. T bills is something which is ninety one days mature. Yeah, already mature. Oh yeah, and only update nahi kiya because that gets updated on seventh or eighth, as you know, right? Mutual fund obviously gives their holdings once a month, which is around sixth or seventh or eighth of the month. So maybe tomorrow, day after tomorrow, you see that this will go out, and maybe a new paper comes in. Oh, wo abhi chuka hoga. Then eighth December, then twenty four November. So accordingly, you know, yar, ki ya, ab ye Reliance Retail Ventures hai. You need to see Reliance Retail Ventures ka riskiness kitna hai. Nabard is good, NTPC, Sidbi, Bharat Petroleum, all are PSUs. Liquid funds will have these kind of instruments only. But if you go and just, I'll show one more, and then we'll we'll wrap this up. Uh, let's say long duration. Dekh ya, ICICI long duration, long. लॉन्ग टर्म एक्विटी ओके सॉरी मैं क्या लॉन्ग टर्म एक्विटी ओवर माय ऑब्सेशन विद एक्विटीज ओके लॉन्ग टर्म फंड फंड ओके सो लेट्स गो डायरेक्टली टू पोर्टफोलियो यहां पे ये देखो एवरेज मैच्योरिटी इज 11.5 पॉइंट फाइव है दैट इज ऑल ओके Average rating again. Sovereign funds are maximum, very safe. Eighty six point five three to sovereign funds, and hardly any AA or triple uh, AB. Many. Okay. See GOI, GOI. So sixty five percent, sixty five point eight five four percent is GOI. Yeah, that's why. Because you know, not many corporate actually issue that. Uh, this is maturing in two thousand thirty six, fourteen years from now. Not many corporates will actually issue that long duration bonds. You know, they generally, you know, government only issues them. Two thousand thirty-two. Now the Great Eastern Shipping Company, two thousand twenty-six. IRFC, two thousand thirty. And hence their average, you know, kind of sixty-five point eight four percent asset is into uh, uh, that paper, which is maturing into fourteen years. So eleven years ka wo aaya eleven point five eight ka, and only six pa seven papers. That's it. Khatam. Seven. So this is one thing which you can probably see. ठीक है, okay. Ah, एक ये और दिखा देता हूँ. भारत bond. So today भारत bond has exposure into lot of different tenured, you know, kind of uh, 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 papers. So the most recent, which is expiring in two thousand twenty three, 
is uh, currently at a YTM of 7.24%. And it's kind of a flattish to upward sloping curve as uh, I was already mentioning. But flat. So BB, it, aaj agar mujhe invest karna hoga, to you tell me. And this is like BB plus PSU SDL. So Edelweiss also came up with PSU SDL. SDL is state development loans. Again, not much risky. Very, not very, but safe. Um, and Bharat bond mein to you always know all the PSU uh, bonds are there. Now you tell me 2026 and 2030 or 2027 and 2030, if there is a difference of just 1% YT, 0.1% YTM, why would I go for a, a BB of 2030 bond, 2027 na mein. Same goes for October 2025 and this 2027. 10.48 is also fine. But as you come back, you have to compromise kar rahe, something which you need to see. Now, eventually, 2037 ka GSEC SDL is at 8.89%. If your horizon is that high, 15 years, 8.9%, you can compare that also. And that brings me to the same point which someone asked me, ki, us nahi liya. Achha, haan, I was give, about to tell you one, one great example over here. right? Ki, I was telling you that <laughs> back in 2019, December, when Edelweiss, and I was with Edelweiss back then, when we issued that Bharat bond, na, ekdam si interest rates were drastically cut. And there were few people, few clients who were actually making 15-20% in two months, three months. And uspe 30% ka tax bhi laga do. Right. So if you are getting 15% and 30% tax in two months, they were making post tax of 10.5% return in a government bond. I mean, PSU focus bond. So my point was, yeah, just book your profits and just sit because anyways, if they are going to hold it till maturity, they will be getting only YTM. Now this YTM is one point when you get into a fund that gets logged, but in between the root can or to that YTM can be just like equities, you know, but <laughs> you don't know the end goal. If you know the knew the end goal, obviously equities would become so great. But pe kya? you know, ki jana ka hai, but the path can be going up and down. Now, when I entered into and I bought for my portfolio, I got into Bharat bond 2030 or 31. I don't remember. I think 2030 uh, back in uh, June or July 2020. Two years ago. Right. So what happened was that since then the interest rates have been just, you know, kind of stagnated or just increasing. So I have CAGR to 4, 4.5% Although my YTM when I entered was 7.6%. Now I know that if I sell it today, I am going to get a subpar returns. I'm holding it. I'm okay. When I entered, I knew that I will be holding it for, I can hold it for seven, eight, 10 years. But I am also sure that if the interest rates are after increasing, and if I'm getting better than YTM, I would probably consider selling it. Right. So both trading, I would not suggest everybody to do that because asset allocation is that which you need to anyways follow. Chalo, abhi dekhte questions. Sorry. Uh, so I go to Naman's question again. Ho gaya. Uh, so Chinta was asking, aren't we supposed to see YTM? Why duration to assess risk reward ratio? I think that's fine. I mean, that's one of the matrix which you can yourself form and then compare it with the other peers to see that uh, where you are getting more risk, more reward to less risk. Yes, Shwardhan, hi, Weber, can you please suggest few, some platforms where we can buy bonds in India? See, the safest bonds is RDG, uh, government website, uh, RBI, the RBI debt yield funds. That's government website only. Otherwise, other bonds are golden pie. Yes, I was just about to say Ankur has written over it. Uh, bond jada idea hai because I prefer ETFs and mutual funds route only. Why to take so much of headache when equities may itana research karte hain. Akshay is saying, can we buy bonds on zero da? Yes, Akshay, you can buy bonds on zero da. Can you tell us the ideal investment from the table? I have given you, I think, uh, in the next last 13, 15 minutes, I've given you the enough order to consider ki kaun se maturity. Mein. Koi ideal nahi hota hai, yaar, isme. You need to see na ki what's your time horizon. What is the yield curve and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, website pe Google pe ja ke likhoge the current yield curve. Now you will get that yield curve plotted for uh many ICICI bank example here, but you will get the yield curve possibly. Just study it now. I mean, ready spoon feeding ki jage. I mean, you can take that uh cue and then consider your investment. Also keep in mind that less than three and three to five years my tax implications will change. 
Rupesh is saying for bank FD more than three years, the tax will be less. So Rupesh, okay, sorry, miss ho gaya point, but great point. For FDs, no, the three-year period doesn't come into the picture because I missed telling one point is that the short term and the long term thing which I explained three years wala is only for capital gains. So if you are buying a bond today and selling it after four years, then on the capital gains, 100 ka 120 ho gaya, to wo 20 rupees pe aapko 20% with indexation lagega. Yeah, if you sell it with one year, 100 ka 105, wo 5 year pe 30% ya slab rate lagega. But FD is giving you consistently the interest. Interest pe there is no interest pe obviously interest is clubbed with your saving or your salary income. And that is considered your income, proper income, or uspe apka slab rate hi lagega. That is why when I said if your mom is not earning anything, interest is considered as her income, and uspe unka slab rate lag jaye. So if anybody in your like parents are not earning, or anybody in your family is not earning, or unka five lakhs se niche hai, so go for that because interest rate comes out to be zero. But for you, for bank FD, even for more than three years rupees, yes, tax will not be less. It will be your interest pay 30 percent and eventually at the end of five years you are getting back your par value which is was which was m to wahan na capital gains and a loss hai to pura ka pura tax if interest pay jata hai fds mein. karuna is asking if i want to do some investment monthly but not in equities and want that to be accessible to be redeemed return expectation five to six percent when can i do this sip like bank rd karuna same thing i mean uh, see i have told you about uh, uh, the returns expectations so mostly if you are doing some this kind of a thing uh, you want to do investment monthly but not in equities that is access accessible to be redeemed you can invest into depending upon your time horizon here i mean agar immediate chahiye to even your uh, medium duration funds are good enough uh, just look at the yield curve otherwise even medium duration because you are not going to redeem everything i am assuming it would only be a part of it uh, so I don't think so until unless you go to that AMC, which might collapse, uh, just like what we explained it uh, earlier, that like bank RD, bank RD may fair by taxation the problem. So return expectation might be okay, 7-8%, but after tax, it might go below 5%. Devadatta, uh, what are the career opportunities? Are Devata, this we can discuss in career opportunities. Ravi Kumar, will you be uploading the recording? Yes. Rupesh, how can we invest corporate bonds directly through these platforms like Golden Pie, RDG? RDG to gone uh, jail to Summer or you can access these uh, through your uh, BFE ka debt segment me hota hai. zero tha pe mil jayega, hopefully. Summer is asking one good instrument in fixed income could be SGBs. <laughs> yes, Summer. Yes, actually it's a fixed income because you are getting two and a half percent, and you are getting the gold appreciation value as well. See. I don't want to club this into a fixed income uh, asset allocation, you know, it's just like, you know, kind of asset allocation perspective, similarly gold is gold investment an alternative investment. And I don't want to invest more than five to 7% into gold, as I already mentioned in a lot of other webinars. So if you want to invest for a long term into gold, then SGBs are a great option, but not for a fixed income kind of fixed income. Nahi hai na. Gold ki price bhi upar niche ho sakte if today gold is 50,000 and tomorrow after eight years, it might go to 35,000. Never know. So, what is the fixed income? So, you have a 5% interest, mil rahe, but then you made a capital loss. Does the theory of your holding period should be equal to Maculay's duration of the fund works to earn the FITM? We have promised correct. Correct. Akshay. As it offers 2.5%, blah, 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 blah. Samartha, I already answered. So, BB is an ETF. And often I have heard on the group that ETFs are generally have liquidity issues. So, same is the case for BB2. BB, Karuna, yes. BB K case in the ETF, it, there is a liquidity issue. But I don't know until and unless your amount is in lakhs and crores, you should not be concerned. But if you are really worried about the ETFs, then go for the index fund, the mutual fund group. Mutual fund have no liquidity issues by design. So, anyways, ETFs are generally, you know, kind of SIPs. Kar liya, ya market se liya. Market se kya if you think that you want to anyways invest into Bharat bond, go for uh, index, uh, go for the mutual fund group. No? So, my all investment into Bharat bonds or generally these things are through mutual funds, none through ETFs. Samarth, sir, can I also throw some light on how to invest through Welldesk for retail investors? Uh, Samarth, ye baad mein lete hai. obviously, uh, uh, we can talk about it one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Aditya, are you also planning a new session on alternative investments in India? Kar lenge, Aditya. Uh, if people are interested, I can do that. 
for you guys. My mom did an FD last year and she comes in 30% tax bracket given that interest rates have now risen. Will breaking it and redoing it current rates? Ha, dekh lo, because there might be some penalties as well, 1% or whatever. It's, uh, that it makes sense, break it and get into a new one if the penalty is not as great as the increase in the interest rates. Okay, so as usual, covered all the questions. A lot of people have left. Guys, thank you. It was long awaited. Finally, I did it. Akshay was after my life. Ki karna isko, kar liya. Recording dal dunga YouTube pe so that you know, kind of I do not have to do it again. So thanks guys for being here, spending Saturday evening again. And hope you learned some some something of out of it. Chalo, bye bye.